I was kindly invited by the organisers to come down to assist in the opening of uh, the bridge that we see in the background, the Victoria Bridge in Bath. This morning has it's, it's, it's been a beautiful occasion. The, uh, the, the, I think there was a couple of hundred people uh, I, 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 were in the reception area uh, and out on the bridge uh, at the opening. Clearly a lot of love for the project, clearly a lot of uh, effort has gone into it. Um, and uh, I know that, uh, that, that, that James, and as I can say, for all the, all the Dredge family, are very, very proud of, of today and, 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 and delighted that uh, Bath Council and uh, so many professional people in Bath have taken such an interest in the bridge. Are we ready? Go! I met my uh, my cousin Nigel for the first time today. Nigel and I are uh, distant relatives. He too is uh, descended from uh, James, who is the nephew of James the Bridge Builder. James was originally uh, born in Chapman Slade uh, in Wiltshire, and I believe that Nigel, uh, my my distant cousin, is the only descendant of. Uh, of James still living in Chapman Slade, so it's been particularly nice to meet them. I believe that the bridge was uh, built specifically to uh, to bring beer from the brewery which uh, which uh, James Dredge ran to the uh, the people of Bath. Um, I, I, I'm sure there were great celebrations in Bath when it was first opened. It's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful bridge. Uh, fits in very well. Uh, to, the, to the, the new development which has taken place. Uh, so the two fit in really well. You would not look at the bridge and, and, and think that this had been uh, built over 150 years previous to, to, to that. And I think that that's a great compliment uh, to the, uh, the, the, the designers. All the parties who were involved in it should be very, very, very proud of it. Uh, and I know that uh, my uncle James would have been very proud uh, that, uh, that uh, such great care and love was taken off, off his design. Bath and Edinburgh are very similar. Uh, first of all, the new town of Edinburgh and the, 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 the city of Bath are uh, very similar architecturally. Um, and there's a, there's a, there's a, 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 a laid-back feel uh, to, to, to both Edinburgh and Bath. They're both university cities, uh, a lot of young people, a lot of young, young students, students in, the, in, in, in both cities. Uh, so there are strong similarities. Um, uh, and uh, it's, I certainly feel quite at home when I'm here at Bath. And I think partly the design, the architecture itself it helps that we have wide streets, um, um, lots of green space. I, I must say I like, I like Bath, it's a, it's a lovely town.